Hello everyone, this is Jacques Duflo and welcome to this Blender video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how to manage shadow when you are using transparent objects. So first of all, you just need to know that to make a shadow, you need a light here, you need an object and you need a wall. So in Blender, you need those three objects and you need to set up those three objects to get your transparent shadows. So I will let you uh, design this very simple uh, scene. You see, you've got a background and three guys. Those are different meshes, it's important. And here you have a lamp. So once you've done it, we will see how to, how, how to set up all that to get a transparent shadow. So first of all, the lamp. So select it, go in the lamp menu here and choose point. Next, in the shadow op in the sh shadow menu, you need to select ray ray shadow. If you select no shadow, there will be no shadow. Sure. For each of your guys, you will need to add a texture. Well, it's not important for the shadow, but it's important for the transparent shadow. You will add a new texture for each of them, and the first one you will call it mat 100 and you will select transparency and you will let alpha to 1 for the second one you will create a new, uh, a new, a new material you will call it mat 50 you will check transparency and you will write 0.5 here and for the last one you will create a new material and you will call it mat zero and you will select the transparency and we'll pull the alpha all the way down oh by the way we will as well immediately add um, um, a texture just to to make those little guys a little more a, a little more sexy you know so just select distorted noise and for each select a different color so purple for the zero one for the z zero percent one uh, distorted noise let's choose gray for this one the uh, green sorry and for the last one one oops distorted noise blue okay Next, you select your, the wall, and here too, you will need to add a new material. So go in the, in the material panel, add new, call it wall, and uh, in, the, in the shadow option, check that the receive transparent is checked. Okay. So now let's do a render to see what we have. Okay. So that's quite good. So you see that the 100% one we has a, a black uh, solid black shadow, the 50% one has a 50% uh, black sh shadow with with the green parts that match with the green uh, with the texture and the very last we only see a kind of um, a kind of ghost, and th there's no shadow. If we see this ghost, is it's not because it's not exactly transparent. It's because the specular uh, the specular is to is two point five. The spe the specular is like the reflection of the light. So if you put it to zero to all of the guys you will still see the two here but we, we you will not see the shadow the ghost the, the kind of ghost of, of the last one you see we can't see it anymore so that's it now we will see how to use the texture influence to get uh, a a nicer shadow so for every guys you will select the alpha channel in the um, in the texture option you will select the alpha influence and you and you will let the alpha to 1 to see what happened so f12 
so you can see that the 50 per, um, the hundred percent one it doesn't change anything it's still a, a black solid uh, a solid black shadow for the 50 percent one it goes from zero uh, from 50 percent to a hundred percent of opacity and for the zero percent one it goes from zero percent to a hundred percent okay so if you pull the alpha down to negative one for all of your guys so the the effect is uh, will be inversed let's see what happened so for the hundred percent one still nothing still a solid black shadow for the fifty percent one it goes from from 100% black to um, to 50% uh, tra transparent here, and for the last one, it goes from 100% black to 100% transparent, and that's why you can. Uh, that's how you can manage transparent uh, shadows. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Very very short. Um, I hope I'll ha I help someone and uh, thanks for watching.